लाइन्स एंड एंगल्स लाइन लाइन हैज नो एंड पॉइंट्स ऑन एदर देम हियर ए बी इज अ लाइन एंड इट इज एंड अ लाइन सिगमेंट लाइन सिगमेंट हैज बोथ एंड पॉइंट्स ए एंड बी इज लाइन सिगमेंट एंड रे इट हैज वन एंड ओनली वन एंड पॉइंट एंड हाउ इट कैन बी डिनोटेड लाइन लाइन सिगमेंट एंड रे लाइन सिगमेंट कैन बी डिनोटेड एज एंड लाइन कैन बी डिनोटेड एज एंड रे कैन बी डिनोटेड एज इन एग्जाम्स क्वेश्चन आस्कड लाइक दिस इन विच आर द फॉलोइंग ऑप्शन ए लाइन सिगमेंट इज देर and option 1 option 2 option 3 and option 4 line segment is nothing but second option take a screenshot and the next topic is collinear points Three are greater than three points in a same line. Is nothing but collinear points. Here it is an example. Point A, point B, point C lies in a same line, and these points are also known as collinear points. Collinear means same line. Pause the video. and you take a screenshot also and the next important topic is concurrent lines concurrent lines is nothing but it can be defined as 3 or greater than 3 lines lines are concurrent if the these three these three or three lines are lies on the same point here lies all of them is important here it is an example here it is a line ab and it is a line cd and it is a line ef and this point is not is the three lines are concurrent pause the video and take a screenshot and notice the difference between collinear points and concurrent lines next angles what is an angle how angle can be formed angle can be formed by lines or line segments we all know what is a line segment and what is a line here the line segments a b See, it makes an angle theta, and here it is a line AB and CD. Here also makes an angle theta. It is an example of line, and it is an example of line segment. And frequently. asked the exams is what is acute angle if an angle can be formed by two line segments and that angle must be zero less than theta less than 
So acute angle means the angle must be in between 0 to 90. Right angle, we all know what do you mean by right angle. The right, it is A, B, C. In right angle, the angle is always 90 degrees. What do you mean by obtuse angle? It is little bit complex compared to these two. Here, obtuse angle is an angle. It can be lies 90 degrees to 180 degrees. And further two more angles are there. It can be in the same page. Now, straight line. How straight line makes in which angle? In this straight line angle, we have given two examples. It is a theta and the theta must be 180 degrees or it can be another way also. It is a straight line. It is x and it is y. Straight line makes a complete angle is 180. Therefore, angle x plus angle y equal to 180 degrees. And coming to the next is reflexive angle. It is damn important. Reflexive angle makes the value is 180 degrees to 360 degrees. A reflective angle lies between 180 to 360. Pause the video, take a screenshot. Complementary angle means If an angle is complementary, the, the angle must be in this angle B is 90 degrees. If the value is complementary, therefore angle X plus angle Y equal to 90 degrees. Complementary means 90 degrees. Here angle X equal to 90 degrees minus Y and angle Y equal to 90 degrees minus angle X. and supplementary angles supplementary angles in a straight line supplementary angle is always 180 degrees here it is angle x and it is angle y therefore when angle is supplementary the sum of angles must be 180 degrees here angle x equal to 180 degrees minus y angle y equal to 180 degrees minus x i hope we all are like the video thank you and subscribe